To warp text, images, or videos in After Effects, all you need to do is go ahead and get yourself a new solid above your background. We're just going to call this one scrolling text. Go ahead and press OK. And we're going to also right click, go to pre comp. Once again, give this a name. You want to leave attributes, press OK. And now you just want to go ahead and press S for scale and just scale this down. We can also press T, lower the opacity down to around, let's say, 30%. And we just want to scale this down and match onto the surface that we wanted to apply. Once you're happy with the location and the size, you can get yourself an effect called Mesh Warp. It'll be this one right here, and you want to drag and drop it onto your comp. And then we're going to change the mesh grid to one by one. Since we don't have a lot of small details, we only want a single row and a single column. And now that we have the effect applied, we can start to left click on the corners and drag this up to warp it onto this image. We're just going to drag this down right up to here. Move this one slightly further down. Bring it up slightly. We're going to drag this corner in as well, right up to here. Once you're happy with the changes, we can now bring the opacity back to 100%. And we're just going to double left click on here and we can hide this layer now. We don't really need it. The next step from here is to get yourself the text tool. We're going to left click on the screen and you want to type in your text. Now, the font that I'm using is called DS Digital. And I've also set the size to 851. My project size is 4K. And I'm also going to apply two effects, the first one being this one right here. You set this one to 30 for the transition, 90 degree for the angle or the direction, and then 50 for the width. This just gives you this line effect. And we can also apply a glow effect as well. For the glow, we're just going to simply set this one to around, let's say, 85 for the threshold. We're going to set the radius to around 60 or higher. You can even set it to 133, intensity to three or four. And there we go. We now have the effect. From here, we can press Control, Alt, and Home. This will center align your anchor point. And we're also going to center align the text. From here, we want to press P for the position of the text. And you want to set the first position. At the start, and you want the text to be on the right side. So we need the first one all the way up to around 10,000, up until it touches this right corner. So this is the starting point. We're going to go further out to around 13 seconds, and then set this one to minus, let's say, 6,000. Possibly even minus 7,000 up until it touches the left side. Right up to here. We're going to select both keyframes and you can press F9, which will easy ease the keyframes, making the animation nice and smooth. So now if we go back onto comp one, and if we have a look at this, you can see the text will be scrolling across here. Sometimes it may look a little bit strange if yours is really warped and really squashed. 
what you can do is you can go back onto this one, you can select the text, and by dragging this up, if you go back onto comp one, it will start to look more normal. So depending on what you want it to look like, this will definitely make it look better and more visible. We can also set the quality to 10, just to improve the mesh quality or the mesh warp. And as you can see, we now have this nice smooth scrolling text. If you want the scrolling to be slower, you can also move the keyframes further out and this will slow it down. And the great thing about this layer is that you can always go back onto here and if you want to make any changes, you can change the text and let's say you only wanted the how-to part, you can just get rid of the first part and if you have a look at this now, we now have this animation right here. And you can also apply any videos or text in this layer right here. If you open up the comp, you can always hide this one and apply anything onto here and it will automatically warp it onto this object or this shape. You may also like this next video up on the screen, but until next time, I will see you all in the next video.